Okay, roof looks good and it's new. Gutters look good. Here's the front entry. We're gonna head on into the house now. It has a front porch, so it's kind of nice. And full light door. Nice foyer entryway, pulls you all the way through to the back of the house. Pretty tile floor that transitions into wood. And over to the left is the den, office. Nice window treatments. Then immediately to the right is the formal dining room. It's quite large with a niche for your China buffet and a triple window on the front. And here's the front door entryway. Has popcorn ceilings. Has a butler's pantry leading into the kitchen area. You have another niche over here for curio entry cabinetry. They also have a little table here as well in the foyer entry. Here's the butler's pantry. You have columns. They're square here, but they're not really blocking anything. So that's, I think they're, they're nice the way it's set up here. This walkway is, is has the, uh, the buffet there that kind of blocks that walkway. But I don't think it would get much use anyway. And as we walk on in, Immediately to the right is the kitchen, very spacious. Can't tell if that's, uh, looks like it's silestone maybe. And we'll explore this a little bit more with the double ovens. You can read in the description, has a nice crown molding, has a kind of a cherry colored, light cherry colored, uh, wood cabinets with nice backsplash. And to the left here is a coat closet, which is right across from the kitchen area. Lots of recessed can lights. And we'll lead right on into the living room with built-ins. And to the left, a sneak preview of the washer and dryer in the utility room, you have a nice fireplace. Nice spatial feel here, big, big bar counter, double sink, looks like a 50-50 sink. The island. Secretary desk, double oven, cooktop, which is electric. I'm sh I would think that there would be a gas line there or you could put one in maybe. Microwave above, I think for recirculating. And wood floors, looks like an engineered wood floor, very pretty. Nice cabinetry on the built-ins. We'll get a better look around the space. Leads into the sunroom with more built-ins. So this has got a really nice feel to it, good spacing. They've got staged really well. This little area back here is kind of extra space, probably not used, utilized much, but it's very pretty. It could be a breakfast table area, but they, they don't have it set up that way. There is a lot of recessed can lights 
and you have a center cap there, so you might be even be able to put a ceiling fan in there if you wanted. It does look like it has speakers in the ceiling. And again, I apologize. I know uh, I'm trying to look and describe this and you probably are going, lift, raise it up, raise it down. <laughs> there is a transition here between the tile. So the front part of the home, the dining room, kitchen area, foyer, entry, walking way are all tile. And it transitions into this beautiful wood floor. Might as well head on out to the sunroom for right now. You have two ceiling fans out here to help circulate the air. And there's a return, which is very nice and two vents, so it's quite comfortable in here. And in the back, you have a big patio, concrete patio, and a big backyard. It's gonna get humid out here. It does have storm shutters to block all the windows in case of storm. You could easily screen this in you have a nice magnolia in the back there. The Colonel Thomas Hayward Road is used quite a bit. So you can, when you're out here, hear a little bit of, of traffic, you know, just people driving by. There's no stopping or anything right here. So you hear a little bit of rolling vehicles and you occasionally see a little top to one. That's about it. Pretty birds flying around. That looks like a, a kite. A Mississippi kite, isn't that pretty? With its uh, pointy tail there. Those you don't see a whole lot around here, but that's a really beautiful bird. I don't know if you caught it on there, but anyway. So everyone's got this open backyard and then it looks like you take care of it to the ditch, the little retention area, and then the hill would be maintained by, by the uh, association. It's common area. So nice landscaping. All right. We'll head back in. Again, popcorn ceilings all the way through. And nice built-in here too. Like a, a nice little reading room, library setup. Drawers, gas fireplace. Nice tile, marble, pretty mantle. You've got crown molding and trim molding just around the fireplace. I don't see it anywhere else. And we'll head on back here and start in the back right corner with the master suite, I presume. First, there's a little powder room right next to the master suite. It's quite nice, cultured marble, white cabinets, Nice high ceilings, nice elongated and elevated toilet, and elevated countertops. Standard doors. And then here's the master suite. Ceiling fan and popcorn ceilings with a big bay window. This is a very good size, although they just have a queen bed in here. You could see it could easily hold any size bed. And you still have sitting area as well. And you have speakers in here. So surround sound throughout the house. 
in the master bath. Or it is carpet on the on the bedrooms, it looks like. Then you have the tile that leads into the master bath. You have a tub, a big wide tub, stretch and soak, no jets. And you have a double transom for some natural light. And then you have your walk-in shower that is cultured marble, has a cultured marble seat, and it has a little soap dish and a hand. I like this. This uh, this is a, it's a little bit dated. You know, a lot of people are going with seamless glass, which would make it look prettier, but it works. It works very fine there. And then you have your really long vanity here with two sink bowls, plenty of light. And I assume next to the shower is probably the linen closet. Yes, it is. It's a deep linen closet. And then you have water closet with a handle, which as I age, I push myself up more and more. Then you have kind of a divided, huge closet. So, on, and then there's a pop-up straight up for your air handler for the HVAC. So they put a divider in here. And you see they put a mirror here too, which is quite nice. I'm not really that heavy. It's just the camera. <laughs> uh, and here's the other side. So like a his and her side with built-ins. Very, very nicely done. And even behind the door, there's more hanging space and they put a lot of storage in here. They're very, very organized. She can tell the house is in really good shape. And then a built-in cabinet over here for shoes and all. All right. We'll head back out to the master. And let's see, let's head back to the center of the house. And there's the front door and the foyer entryway again with the threshold into the transition. So you, you have a lot of neat spaces there where the coat closet is, the office in the front. Then over to the right is a hallway, nice high ceilings. And to the left is the first guest bedroom. This has a queen bed as well, it has the, the double closet, Nice ceiling fan. Does have popcorn ceilings everywhere, so I don't need to repeat that again. Then you have a nice built-in shelf and an ensuite bathroom. So, culture marble, a shower tub combination with a double transom up top for lots of natural light. Standard toilet, elevated uh, vanity. So that's quite nice. And then in the middle between these is the washer and dryer with another transom. Okay, and fluorescent lights, plenty of cabinets here as well. So it's a good size. And across from that is a little linen closet, which is right between the bedrooms as well, but across from the laundry room. Your thermostat. And then another ensuite bathroom in the second guest bedroom, which again is, this one's very large. This is like, almost like a master, except the bath is not set up that way. You have built-in shelving on top, decorative shelving, a queen bed flanked by two nice size uh, nightstands and room for a chair. You have room against this wall for a TV and a dresser if you wanted, and a double closet. So I'll open this one. Just kind of your standard closet, but it's quite wide. So it goes back a lot to the right and goes all the way to the end. 
So they're, they're good sizes. You can put plenty of clothes in there, that's for sure. Painted light blue. And again, with a nice ceiling fan. And you have a return in here, which is great. And then you have a vent. Okay. And a little handle here for getting in and out of the shower. This looks like an elongated and elevated toilet and a cultured marble vanity for the sink bowl and cabinets below. So nicely set up here. And these are carpeted, so you see the transition on both of the bedrooms on this side. So three bedrooms, three full baths. Each bedroom has its own bath. And then there's that half bath by the master. Go back through to the dining room in the front, and then we'll walk in to the right as if we were coming straight into the kitchen. Give you that perspective. Enough for a couple bar stools there to sit. Nicely pointed, perfectly clean. Shows like a brand new model. You know, it's built in 06. You have your secretary desk here and cabinet above, under cabinet lighting. Then you have a very nice size walk-in pantry. Very deep. So I don't know if I can quite share with you how deep it is, but these are about 16 inch tiles. So you have a quarter over one there, then one, two, three, four, five, it looks like. So that gives you some idea of the depth. Five times 16, 80. So that's seven and a half feet. And it's probably one, two, almost three wide. So 40, four, four feet, three and a half feet wide. Then you have a coat closet over here as well hmm. for their heavy stuff. And then we'll go out to the garage. They got everything set up so nicely because everyone's looking at it today. So all the lights are on. All of this, like the refrigerator and this cabinet, and all these are temporary removable places. Well, if I run out of toilet paper, I know where to go. They stocked up. Okay, it's, it's a standard two-car garage. But what's nice about it it has it about two feet on each side. So you can literally pull the car in tight and open the door if you pulled straight in and get out if all of this stuff wasn't here. And it won't be. Over on this side are your hurricane shutters, which when this was built was required. It's not really required anymore because there's really not been any hurricane damage here or threat other than we had one in 16 that didn't do anything you have your tankless hot water heater little bench here for working and a slop sink which is nice and then you have a pull down attic and the door is over i mean the uh, light switch is over by the door so it's a good size a little bit wider than most and it does have a pull down over here, which is probably really tight to pull down with all their stuff underneath. So it uh, it rates well. This is uh, you, you you could really hopefully capture what's going on with this house. This is a very very nice home, beautiful home. It's the same quality as that one we first liked. Okay. The price is only different. It's a little bit bigger, maybe. It doesn't have a screen porch, but you could have to, you could put one in. It doesn't have a water view, but it does have a private view. So I'll do one final spin around here. And show as much as I can. And then we'll be done. You can freeze a picture, of course, and look at things. And if you have any questions, give me a call. All right. Take care.